Hey everyone, Jasmine here from Room with Books to do another In My Mailbox vlog. It seems like these have turned into a bi-weekly thing. I'm not sure what happens. I just get really lazy when I think about doing it on Friday or Saturday and then I just don't do it. And then I do it the next week on like a Wednesday or a Thursday or whatever. I do it because the pile of books that I've gotten is just so large and I need to organize it. Anyways, so... Since last week's video was like 13 minutes and I was trying to go fast, let's actually try to go fast this week. The first book I got is from the library. It's Tiger Lily by Jody Lynn Anderson. The, like, Peter Pan kind of spin-off retelling starring Tiger Lily as told by Tinkerbell. I'm really excited for that one. I've been into Peter Pan retellings lately. The next book I got from the library is Dark Eden, Eve of Destruction by Patrick Carmen. I won an arc of this from Harper Teen a while ago through um, a Twitter contest, and I went to go read it just the other day, and it didn't have any of the artwork, and I figured if I'm going to read the story, I kind of want the artwork, so I picked it up from the library so I could get that supplement of the story. Uh, the next book is not actually a book. It's a manga. His and Her Circumstances, number one. I recently watched the anime because a friend lent it to me, and I really liked it, but I didn't like the way it ended, and it turns out that it ended that way because the writer refused to work with the um, people who did the show anymore because she didn't like the way they were taking it. So I figured I should read the manga and see which way she did want it to go. And then the next one is volume 3 because my library seems to not have volume 2. And the next is the fifth Full Metal Alchemist manga because I've been really into those. I've read one through three now. Four is waiting for me in my personal library. The next are, I think these are the last manga, so it's the last kind of non bookish, blogish related things you'll have to see. Five and six of the High School of the Dead mangas. Because I hear I watch the anime and I hear that the manga follows really close the anime follows really closely with the manga. So I figured I'd just skip the first couple that the anime covered and I'll read what's left because I was not satisfied with the anime's ending. Oh, I lied. There's more manga. <laughs> I'll get to that in a minute. The next book is Miss Car Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children by Ransom Riggs which I've been wanting to read for ever. <laughs> I mean, since before it came out, since I was hearing good reviews for it. Look, there's like a creepy picture on the back. I'm afraid I'm going to be really creeped out by this book, but I like to be creeped out, so. Uh, the next is the fourth Full Metal Alchemist manga. And then this is Hollow Fields by... Madeline Roska? I have no idea if I'm announcing that. Probably not pronouncing it correctly. I saw this at Barnes & Noble a few weeks ago and I read the synopsis and I was like, hmm, that sounds really interesting. I don't think I'll do reviews of mangas on my blog because I don't really feel like I'm qualified to review manga. I don't really know that much about it, but maybe I'll do a few posts suggesting ones that you should read if you're new to it. The next book is A Once So Wicked by Suzanne Collins. I read A Need So Beautiful back in like February-ish, maybe March, and I loved it, but that ending was totally killer, and I've been waiting for the sequel ever since. I'm just glad I didn't read it last year when it came out, because I don't know if I could have waited that long. Uh, the next book is a purchase from Half Price. It was only $2 on the Clarence shelf. It is... Strange Angels by Lily St. Crow. I've heard lots of people say that this is an awesome series, and I think it's all ended now, so it would be nice to be able to just read it all the way through without having to wait. I honestly had no intention of reading it because I don't really need another angel book in my life, but then I read the back, and it talks about zombies! How can I not read a book about zombies? You guys know me and my zombie addiction. The next book I picked up is Wicked Lovely by Melissa Marr. I might pick it up and read it. It was only $2 at half price. 
but I mainly just picked it up so that I could have it in stock for like RAK and giveaways and stuff. The next book was sent to me by Random Buzzer so that I could be an ambassador for this um, like summer season. I feel kind of bad because I had no intention of reading this book and I'm pretty sure I put in the form I do not like to read high fantasy but now I have the book so they also sent me these um, ambassador cards that have a code on the back where you can get a free book so if any of you aren't signed up for random buzzers yet and would be interested in that let me know and I can tell you what one of the codes are anyways you're probably wondering what book it is Serafina by Rachel Hartman I did not have any intention of reading this book because I don't like I don't generally like dragons and knights and courts and stuff but I definitely feel obligated to read it now, so they sent me an ARC and a finished copy. I am... huh. That's weird. Sorry, it looks like there's a stain on my cover because it's not on the ARC, but I think it's just like an added little blood spatter. It's all gold and black on the inside. I'm gonna read the finished copy, and if I don't end up loving it, I'll probably give it away. But at the moment, I am doing a giveaway for the arc of Serafina. Uh, I also want a copy of Rail Sea by China Mieville. I just butchered that name terribly <laughs> from Random Buzzards. Um, it has, I've heard it has some uh, illustrations in here, but I'm not seeing them right now. I didn't really have any intention to read this book either. I don't remember entering the contest at all. So I might read it. If not, you'll probably see it in a giveaway sometime in the future. The next book is a book I, book I bought. My Paper Towns by John Green and my journey to... That is not the word I'm looking for, but in my attempt to buy all the John Green books and read them in order. I've now read Looking for Alaska and An Abundance of Catherines, and Paper Towns is next on my list. It doesn't have like anything on the inside, but they, it's like ripped and it, it saddens me. I don't even know how that happens. How do you heard a book like that? The next book I bought with it is Waking Storms by Sarah Porter, the sequel to Lost Voices. I adored Lost Voices. It was like a kind of beautiful but heartbreaking take on mermaids and it was just amazing. And I don't know if you guys can see it, but this is like sparkly and it kind of looks like sand. It's so pretty. I love the spine. I'm really, really excited to read the sequel. And the last book I got this week is Along for the Ride by Sarah Dessen, which I got from someone for a trade. I traded them for one of my arcs that I have in the pile. Oh, they also sent some bookmarks. That was really nice. I haven't read any Sarah Dustin before, but this has been the one that I wanted to read first for a really long time. So I'm glad to finally own a copy. And I actually like the original cover a lot more than the new cover. And that's all for me, so just tell me what you guys got in your mailbox, and I will be sure to check it out. Thanks. Bye.